Again, in reality, your inner thinking life is always the direct source of everything you feel and everything you do. That is like a key takeaway from this book. Every single thing that you do, every action you take, whether you meant to do it or you regretted doing it, and every single thing that you think, every like feeling, sorry, not that you think, everything that you feel, every feeling you have is a result of the thoughts that run through your head. You cannot feel happy without having a happy thought. You can't feel sad without having a sad thought, even if you're not really aware of that thought, because sometimes our thoughts are like so rapid that we don't even notice them. Like if you look at a, a flower and you feel happy or peaceful because the flower is beautiful, you might not even recognize that you had a thought there, but you did. The thought was this flower is beautiful and now you feel happy. So everything that we do, everything that we feel comes directly after a thought that we had. So if you have a good thought, you have a good feeling. If you have a bad thought, you have a bad feeling. And this is really freeing, even though it seems simple, but it's very freeing because if you notice that you have a bad feeling, at least if you're like me, I used to be like, oh my God, I feel anxious, I feel upset, what's wrong with me, what's wrong with my life? If I feel anxious, clearly that's because something's wrong with my life. And then I start worrying about what it is that's wrong with my life. Have you ever had like a feeling like you felt sad or upset or anxious and you didn't even know why and so you started trying to analyze it and figure out where that feeling was coming from like I don't know I've had days where I feel sad and I try to figure out why am I sad and then I'll come up with reasons like oh I'm sad because my friend didn't sit with me at lunch or oh I'm sad because that guy never called me back and maybe you weren't even sad about that but you just were trying to find a reason to fit the feeling you had when in reality that feeling you had was just a result of a thought you had that you maybe didn't even realize you were thinking negatively. So why that frees you up? Well, if you realize that you're feeling sad and you don't know why, instead of trying to figure out why you feel sad, which is what I would naturally do, stop and be like, I don't need to feel sad. Just because I had a thought that made me sad doesn't mean I need to feel sad. If you try to find out why you feel sad, you're only going to come up with more reasons to feel sad. If you try to instead think, okay, I must have had a negative thought, but is that really how I want to feel right now? No, not really. So why don't I try to come up with reasons why I am happy? Maybe I'm in class right now and the lecture's boring, but I can still think about how after this, I'm going to go out and talk to my best friend. Try to come up with reasons why you should feel happy. So this is like something that really made a big difference in my life because I was like, I always, whenever I felt sad, I took it as this like meaningful thing that like, okay, the fact that I'm sad means something is wrong and I need to figure out what, was, what is wrong so I can fix it. No, there's not something wrong that I need to fix. What's wrong is that I thought something that made me sad. That's it. So the solution is just think something happy instead. It's that simple. I really like this. You should do more streams like this. Thank you. Well, this is kind of like more along with